Welcome back. Great to see you again. Time to handle the user sign in. So sign up looks good, but sign in is missing. I'm closing all these folders here, tabs here. And now back in my project, I'll go to my passport chess file to also implement a strategy for signing the user in. I'll do this right below my sign up strategy. And of course I start by again using passport use. I'll name it local sign in. And this will also be a new local strategy where I first have some configuration where I again basically pass the same config as before, setting up username field and so on. And then I have my callback here, where I again have my request, the pass email and password, as well as the done callback function I may execute whenever I am done. Now here again, I could validate, but I don't really have to because I'm just checking if the entered data fits the user data in the database. So technically I don't need to validate, but I think it's nice to give some error messages if the user simply forget, forgets to enter the password or anything like that. So in order to do this, I will copy the validation logic from above, all that code here. But I will get rid of the minimum length because that really doesn't matter. I'm comparing passwords anyway, as well as of the is email or well, no, I'll leave the is email. I think that's fine. So with that, I'm yeah, doing the validation again, the code of you saw above. And of course you could refactor this for example, but I'll leave it like this. And next I will try to find the user and I can also copy the code here from my sign up method because I'm basically doing the same. I want to find a user. I return done with the error if we have an error. However, if I find the user, this is of course the good case. So here I will reverse this to return an error if we don't find the user. Then I will return a message where I say no user found. So if, yeah, if, if we tr tried to find a user with an email address which isn't in the database, and then I also need another case where the password might be invalid. So to check this, I will run user and then valid password. This is the helper function or the method I defined in my user model here, if you remember this, this function here. So now I'm executing this function to verify the password with the encrypted password in the database. And if this fails, if the password is not valid, well, then I will also return done with an, uh, with um, the false case here so that it was not successful. And the message will be wrong password in my case here. If all of that is passed successfully, so no error, user found and password is correct, well, then I can simply return done with no error and the retrieved user. And user of course is the user I found in the, uh, in the database. So this is my sign in strategy. And now in the index.js file, I have to create the routes for that. So I'll do this here where I get my user sign in route with request response next to show the sign in page first. And all I will do here is I will render the sign in page and I will copy the code from the sign up route here because I'm basically doing the same. I also want to display error messages if there are any. I also want to pass the token. So that's all the same. And next I will add another route, the post route user sign in. But here, of course, I will not use my request response next function, but instead I will use passport, authenticate, and then my local sign in strategy I just set up with a JavaScript object to configure it. Now the configuration equals the one from my post request here. And with that, I'm making sure that I'm redirected to the profile if successful, but to the sign in page, not sign up if we fail. So with that, all this is working. 
or restart my server and I'll go to the sign in page here and I'll try to log in with the credentials I provided. Email already in use, uh, doesn't sound right. And this of course is the case because here, well, <clears throat> uh, first I'm returning the sign up view, not the sign in view. So that's uh, wrong, but it was good because my sign in view is totally empty. So I should probably add this here. I just copied all the code from the sign up view, but of course I have to update my action here to actually try to sign me in, not sign up. And I'll replace the text here to also be correct. Now if I reload, so go to sign in again, this should now really be the sign in form. And this looks good. I'm forwarded to the user profile. So the signing in works as does the sign up. Let's try what happens if I enter an email address which is not valid or okay if I enter this for example invalid email and if I enter a wrong password for a valid email address I get wrong password so this works but that was not really what I wanted to do here what I want to do next is I want to protect my routes and it would be nice to have some kind of route grouping because if we have a lock here we got slash user slash user slash user and that's totally unnecessary because all these routes share the slash user. I don't want to write it on each route here. 